What up, Smart Rabbit Gang? In this video, we're gonna talk about nine things that will change your music career instantly. I'm like, uh, that was kind of, that was kind of, uh, 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 that's better. Cause that was, uh, uh, just, just cut that out. Disappointed you. These are things that you can apply to your life today that are instantly gonna make your music career really just start seeing actual results. Things that you probably never thought of because they're so simple and easy to do. You're like, no way. But then when I explain them, you're gonna go, that makes sense. And these are all things that I've done. These are all things that I've had to evolve and I've had to do just, to, just in general to become a successful person. But they've helped me tremendously with my music. It's gonna make you a better person overall no matter what you're doing. This is gonna help anybody who sees this video. And I want you to be able to do things that are gonna change your music career. That's why I made Smart Rapper. He ain't lying. I want you to be able to do things that are gonna make your life better. That's also why I created Smart Rapper. I learn things, I better myself, I analyze things, I see what works, what doesn't work, and then I teach you. Woo! And this video is gonna help you see a lot of things that have helped me tremendously in my life that I promise you, if you start doing these things, your life's gonna change. Your music career is gonna change. You're gonna start telling people how these things change your life and they're so simple. Troll. They're so simple, Troll. they're so simple. But you're gonna notice a change in yourself. And you don't have to do all nine. Start with one, okay? Starts with one. But make sure you subscribe because you don't learn a lot from this video, but I release a video a day, so imagine how much smarter you're gonna be by the end of a month of watching my videos. Over a thousand videos on this channel now. I don't stop. Come on. And I'm helping you change your life, Come change on. your music career, and helping the next generation of music artists become superstars. And you could be one of them if you got the hustle. I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper, and you're about to get smarter right at the intro. I'm Rob Level, a successful music artist that's been rapping for over 10 years. I've been posted everywhere from Complex to TMZ. I've had label deals, charted top 100, written songs for major artists with Grammy winners. On here, I teach you everything I learned in the music business. So as I learn, you get to learn too. This is Smart Rap. Now I told you these are very simple. I'm gonna go into these and I really wanted to outline how important these things are because you're probably gonna go, uh, uh, um, uh, uh. I'm telling you right now though, these are simple and you already know these things need to happen in your life and if you're not doing them, you need to start doing them because they actually directly correlate and affect your music career whether or not you understand and realize that, okay? I'm gonna start with one that's stupid easy. You're probably gonna be like, eh. Robert. Matt. But this is essential, and this is how I have so much damn energy. People are like, Drop, you on cocaine? I'm like, no mother, I'm high on life. I'm high and excited because my, my brain is operating at maximum capacity at all times, and this is why. Number one. What is your damaged muscle head? Robert. Eating foods properly, and you're like, shut up. Eating foods properly that make your brain work better, that make your brain work faster, okay? Because not just talking about your diet and just what you eat, but the supplements that you take, because there's supplements you can take, okay? Not drugs, supplements, herbs, vitamins that make you sharper, smarter, quicker witted. Somebody talking crap at school? Quicker with it, why? Because you're taking the right vitamins, right? There's so many advantages to this and it all starts here because when you can control your mind and you have more energy for your mind and your body, you get more work done, you make more music, you can go longer hours. Your body's gonna grow faster, you're gonna feel healthier, you're gonna have more stamina, your sex life's gonna get better. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And it all starts with this one thing. Imagine the other eight I'm gonna tell you. I don't want this video to be too long. So, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make a whole nother video where I teach you and show you all the supplements that I take and all the supplements you can use. It's gonna give you the superpower to have a sharper mind, a quicker mind, make better music, be more creative, because there is actually supplements to help you with creativity. And all those things that you don't even realize exist, and I've already tested them myself, and they work. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly they work. Look at me. Yeah. It's early, it's AM, my neighbor's probably mad right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Number two, which is gonna come directly after you start really taking care of your mind with supplements and taking care of your body with the dieting, you need to make sure that you're completely destroying, obliterating, I mean, oh, this is actually perfect, I was gonna say that, pressing the new button, okay, and just blowing up any type of negative thoughts that you ever have. And this is tough for me. I've had them all morning, and I'm asking myself, why am I having these? It's hard to control our mind. Even with somebody like me, who is extremely focused, regimented, and I just have a lot of pressure on me, okay? And I'm, I'm crazy, I was seeing a therapist at four years old. I was in like children's like asylum wars at five years old. I was put back in one at 10. What, I, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm nuts like cashews. Bars. But that's part of my charm. And that's what makes me and gave me the ability to be here. So if you think you're crazy, you think you have negative thoughts, I guarantee you I've had the same thoughts. Probably a hundred times worse. I got demons, man. 
but you have to learn how to fight those. The thing that's gonna make you better, and, and prompt, think about this. Anytime you think about working on music, you think about even having a music career, what happens? You get these negative thoughts. You get things that other people have said to you. Their insecurities, their lack of hustle leaking onto you because they don't believe in you. But like I always tell you, nobody's gonna believe in you anyways until you prove and show you believe in yourself. I don't believe in any artist that sends me a song. Somebody asked me to get on the podcast. How many podcast episodes you got? They're like, uh, I got four. Huh? I'm like, all right, hit me when you got 50, because that's when you're serious, okay? How many songs you got? I got three. Huh? Hit me when you got 50, recorded, finished, done, okay? Because you have to show somebody you're serious. I believe you can get to that point, because I know, because I, I am you. You are me. But other people who haven't chased a dream and don't have anything to believe in, they don't know that. So all their thoughts are gonna leak onto you anyways. You gotta take those thoughts that you create yourself that make you negative and make you not believe in yourself. Uh. And make you be like, I don't feel like working on music because, uh. Or this thought's affecting me, uh. You gotta get used to cutting those feelings and cutting those emotions out. And get used to and understand it's just the thought. It's just thought. Stay out of your head. Your head's what's destroying you and you know it. Yeah. The thing that slows you down is what's in your head. All in your head, the war is mental. And you need to learn how to do mental gymnastics. Jump, back flip, front flip, somersault, ooh, chip, back handspring, ugh, right over any of those negative thoughts. They happen, you need to do this. This is what I do. If I ever have a negative thought, yeah. always push it down. Which sounds bad, the therapist probably be like, oh, I don't do I don't give I suppress it. Okay, I don't know if it's good or bad, but it got me here. I take the thought and it's not really suppressing. I ignore it within five seconds. You have to be conscious enough to realize, why am I thinking this? And then stop thinking about it. Move on to the next thing. Five minutes later, you're like, oh, there's another one. Uh, uh, get it out. You have to get used to cutting out all of these negative thoughts. If you don't, they will destroy you. They have destroyed me before. They destroyed parts of my life numerous times. You have to learn to get rid of these negative thoughts. They are the number one thing holding you back from success anywhere in life, especially music. And music is the hardest thing to chase because everybody wants to do it and nobody's gonna believe in you for years. If you can't get rid of these negative thoughts, they're gonna eat you alive, trust me. Now that one may not be so simple, but you'll get really good at it just by practicing it. Ignore those negative thoughts. Never let the negative thought go to another level. Never let it negative thought spiral to, a, oh, but this. As soon as it goes to that next one, oh, you're starting to get more screwed. That's when you spiral and become depressed. That's when you become suicidal like I was so many times in my life. And it's only because you let it chain and spiral. You can't let one event lead to another. As soon as the first one happens, you gotta shut it down. That's the key, trust me, that's the key. Number three, and this is an easy change too, is exercise. You're like, Rob, exercise. Everybody's been telling you your whole life how important exercise is. If you are not exercising yet, I don't know what to tell you. Go to the gym at least three, four times a week or exercise like, Rob, COVID, I don't care. Run, go outside. I used to do this when I was broke. Fill the gallons of water up and lift them as weights, okay? They can get heavy. Uh, one gallon of milk weighs eight pounds. I believe it's eight pounds. I think that's right, right? So a gallon of water will weigh, weigh around eight pounds. Doesn't matter, but here's the thing. If you do high intensity interval training, you may not know what that is, but you can go research it. High intensity interval training, you don't have to do it very long. You can do it for a very short period of time. And it actually is something massively, actually it's in, actually in this book right here too. The biggest entrepreneurs in the world, they don't do cardio or lifting weights, they do HIIT training. Because HIIT training increases your brain speed. It actually increases a state of free flow, which is going to massively help you when you start making music. And you, we've discussed this before. When you're in that state, you make music 100 times easy. It puts you inside of that state. I don't wanna go too deep into that. But exercise is key, especially if you're just doing HIIT training. On top of that, the levels of confidence you're gonna have. You're gonna shine more when you are around you're gonna feel better you're gonna feel healthier you're gonna be able to enjoy your music career that you're working so hard to get because you're gonna be healthy all right you don't have to look like hercules to feel like hercules i'll tell you right now hercules hercules that is me that confidence is gonna shine in your music it's gonna shine in your life you're gonna attract better women you're gonna attract a better spouse you're gonna attract more money you're gonna try i'm telling you man i'm telling you and number four is similar to number one but it's still different is that you need your actual brain nutrients you need all the things that your body just needs baby, baby. naturally and number one i was talking about the additional things that you can take but you also need the primary things that your brain needs and you can get those from vitamins you can get them from other supplements but you need to make sure that you're getting the healthy amount of nutrients and food in every day just base standard not going to stay too long on this one number five massively 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 important you want to make sure and you already know this guys but you need to start doing these things that you know is you got to keep people around you who are positive minded people now these people that are around you need to be people who believe in you. They believe that you're gonna do music. Hopefully they're people who also do music and you can learn and grow from each other. But if you're hanging around people who don't have any dreams, and people who don't have any hope, and people who really don't have any ambition, uh. how are they gonna have and believe that you have the ambition? That's stupid. Use your common sense. 
And number two, their laziness and lack of energy and everything like that's just gonna rub off on you. So then you're gonna be lazy and you're not gonna have any ambition. So if you ever surround yourself with people, surround yourself with people like you. And one of the biggest and hardest things for me was I don't feel like there's anybody like me. Nobody has this drive and this hustle. And if they do, I haven't met them. And if, even if I knew them, they're too busy working on their goals. Their goals don't directly align with my goals. So I'm not really able to keep those people around me. It's pretty much being like, all right, I'm Drake. All right. Now I can only hang out with Jay-Z, Lil Wayne. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you have to keep people at your level around you. If, and if you don't, those people are gonna drag you down. So you need to remember that from the very beginning of your life, whether you're 12 years old, 21. or whether you're 27 years old and you're already a successful music artist. Oh. You already know to keep the best people around you. Those people need to be cheering for you, rooting for you, and you need to be rooting for them as well. And it needs to be reciprocated on a regular basis so you keep pushing each other, even if your goals don't align. Remember that, because it's very important. Number six, and this is essential to me, a clean environment. Tons of studies have shown that the cleaner your environment is, the more organized your mind is. Your mind won't be as cluttered if all your surroundings are completely organized. Keep your room clean, make your bed in the morning. Very simple, very small things. Organize your desk, clean up trash. These things take you less than five, 10 minutes, less than 20 minutes total a week, but it keeps your mind focused. It keeps your mind able to be organized. An organized environment is an organized mind. Bars. If your computer desktop or your phone, if, it, if it's got too many apps on it, clean it, make it a simple background. These things that you think are like not that important, are massively essential because something that's very small, what happens when you do a hundred small things? What happens when something that's like, oh, it's only 1%, it's only gonna change 1% of my life. You do 20 things, it changes 20% of your life, that's a fifth of your life. Come on. You guys gotta realize we have nine things here. If each one of these things changes 10% of your life, 90% of your life would change, but if you just applied them. It's basic math and it's extremely simple and these are simple things. Choose some of these and do them. Clean your damn room. Hit me with a sub real quick. I appreciate it. Five, hey, four, three, on your balls. two, grab a handful. One. Go! Go! Number seven, massively important, but don't do it too much, is you need to sleep. Sleeping is vital. So when you sleep, it's actually when your brain cleans and clears all the plaque out of your mind. But it's also, whether you knew this or not, it's actually when your mind actually stores all the information that you learn from the day. You don't actually learn in the day. You absorb during the day and you learn it and it stays and it processes and hardwires at night. So not only do you need to get your sleep in for your rest, you need to get your sleep in so that your mind can actually store that information and all those new things that you learned and so that it can actually sleep on ideas and learn more by combining other ideas and then the next day you're smarter. You have to be getting sleep in. Now, earlier in my career, I used to only sleep four hours a day. And I was always so tired. I had Monster was supplying me with unlimited Monster, okay, Monster Energy Drink. They gave me, Kate, I had unlimited Monster. I was drinking three, four Monsters a day. <laughs> Shazam! That was horrific. And I was also tired. It would be noon, and I had been up since nine. I'm only three hours into my day. I'm dead tired, why? I didn't think it was because of the lack of sleep. Because I kept telling myself, I don't need to sleep. I'm hustling, I don't need to sleep. <laughs> but the amount of work that you're getting done during the day is happening at such a, a massively low capacity that you're not really getting anything good done. A lack of sleep, and this is a fact, you can go look it up. A lack of sleep is basically the equivalent of you actually having a couple beers. So basically it's like the, the amount of slowness you feel when you're actually drunk, but you don't actually get the benefit of the drunk. You're just like, you just get the slowness and grogginess of it. How well are you gonna make music if you feel like you're always drunk without the actual increase of creativity that you might get from it? It's like waking up drunk because you didn't sleep enough. When I learned that now, I make sure that six hours every day is what I try to get. Six hours, if I can and, I'm, and I get to bed early enough because I'm not working too much, that night I try to get seven hours. Yeah. I never really get more than seven hours. Only on a Saturday morning, I get about eight hours because that's the day when I sleep in a bit because I work on music the whole day, Saturday and Sunday, the entire day. So make sure you're sleeping. Number eight, and this is vital, and you need to be doing this if you want to really build your music career anyways, and that's why you're watching these videos, is on a regular basis, if you want to better your life, better your music career, you have to be learning new things every single day. You need to stop bullshitting and be serious. You're not serious. It keeps your brain exercised, which helps you think faster and create more. And the more knowledge that you have, the more song ideas you're gonna be able to think of. You're gonna be able to learn melodies faster. And just like I tell you guys, like I learned from Robert Greene's book, Mastery, which is one of my favorite books, the more knowledge that you have, the more information can combine in different areas and make you smarter. The more information you know across a spectrum, doesn't matter where it's at in the world. You can know about a car and then know a lot about the Bible. And there's gonna be pieces of it where this 
correlates with this and a new idea is created and information is learned. So the more knowledge that you have, the faster that your brain learns. I mean, I read an entire book on how this works, how we learn. And that's such a crazy thought. So the more you know, the faster your brain grows. It's like somebody who suddenly starts getting smart, they become start beginning extremely smart way faster. The like same thing that happened for me. It's the same thing when you start getting money. Let's say that you only had a thousand dollars in the bank and you're only making like, like $500 a week or something like that. But suddenly if you had a million dollars in the bank, now suddenly you're gonna be making $10,000 a week. It's just the way things happen. It's because you have more resources, you have more ability and access and everything just grows and goes further. But like if I were to bestow upon you every bit of information that I had and all my knowledge, you would then be able to take everything that you learn in your life on your own and combine it and you'd be way smarter than me. It's pretty, it's pretty freaking cool. Unfortunately, there's no microchips and, I'm, and I can't really just so I make these videos for you. But you need to be learning new things. And again, learn them in all different areas. No matter what you wanna learn, learn them. And then number nine, you need to understand things that are gonna lower your stress levels, Do okay? It. Now, one of those things is, yes, getting rid of those negative thoughts as we spoke about. But you need to understand that you're gonna stress about other things. And you need to really make sure that you're trying not to stress and you find ways to de-stress, find balance, okay? For some people that's playing video games, for some people that's, you know, whatever you're gonna do, but that's not really de-stressing, that's you wasting time and telling yourself you're relaxing. Out here playing around, you said the truth. That's not really recharging your batteries. If you think it is, it's not. You need to do things, and I know it's corny, such as breathing techniques. And it's easy, just four seconds in, four seconds out, and do it 10 times. Watch how fast your stress levels go away. Because oh if you start learning just how to breathe, I'm just gonna leave it with that. I'm not gonna like push all these other things on you. Just start learning how to actually consciously breathe and you'll watch how your life changes. I'm telling you, Come on. okay? Because when you have high stress levels, high cortisol levels, it weighs you down. It increases your blood pressure. Your mind can't think as clearly. You're not able to focus as much. Your attention, you're like, you know, your ADHD, your attention span is gonna go, it's even worse. So you need to be able to lower your stress levels as much as you can. And the exercise is gonna help with that. And eating healthy is gonna help with that. Surrounding yourself with good people is gonna help with that. All of these things, they're gonna help, okay? But that's why I leave you with that as the last one. You're really gonna make sure you're getting rid of those stress levels because it's gonna change your life. And these are nine things. Try to do all of them, but start with one. Don't overload yourself because these things are gonna change your life. And in turn, they're gonna change your music career. Now, if you wanna get my list of all the supplements that I take and everything else like that, I actually have it. It's part of the rapper shortcut, but you can also individually get it in something I'm gonna give you below. Right. It's pretty much 100 things, it's actually over 100 things that every music artist needs to know in their first year, okay? I'm gonna put a link below for that because in that I actually break it down, I show you my morning schedule, I show you all these things, these little tidbits and these tricks that I've used to change and evolve my life, they're inside of that. So you're probably gonna wanna get your hands on it. I'm gonna put a link to that below. Make sure you like, and I hope this video likes you. I, I do hope it liked you, I like you. I hope you like me and I hope you like this video though as well. Hit me with a subscribe and hit the little bell when you do so you get notified. This is just one video. If you're learning this, I release a video a day on here. Of course you learn something from this video, but you need more information if you really wanna grow. And I'm gonna give you that information every single day. And I also have a reality show and I have a bunch of videos where I inspire you on my other channel, my Rob Level channel. And we also have the Rapper Shortcut channel where I answer individual questions. If you ever ask a question and it doesn't get answered on Smart Rapper, it goes on the Rapper Shortcut video a day. Yeah, that's right. I release two videos a day minimum. And on some days it's three videos across all these channels, all right? All the links are gonna be below, including my Instagram. But make sure that you go below and you do get your hands on right. everything you're gonna need to know in your first year as a music artist, okay? So you can learn all the secrets that I've applied in my life to change my life that'll change your life too. I know this video yeah, helped yeah, you out a little yeah. bit. If you made it this far, you're like, I, I like this stuff. And I hope you apply it, all right? You just became a smarter rapper. I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper. Keep hustling. I'll see you at the top.